Welcome to our lecture online. So when they're asking us to combine like terms, we can only do that if the terms are indeed alike. So the first thing we're going to do is verify that the terms are indeed alike, which means the letter portions of each term is exactly the same. And then we can go ahead and do the operation. Sometimes we're asked to add like terms, sometimes we're asked to subtract like terms from one another. So let's try that to see if it works. Uh, we have a 4x here plus a negative 12x. Notice the 4 and the negative 12 are what we call the numerical coefficients or the numerical factors. And then the letter portions of each term, in this case they each have an x, they're identical to one another, which makes them like terms and therefore we can add the two. So we have a 4x plus a negative 12x, adding a negative number of course is like subtracting. So 4 minus 12 is equal to minus 8x. Here, again, we verify we have an x square y, we have an x square y, so therefore these are like terms, we can add them. 3 plus 15, that gives us an 18x square y. Over here, again, always check to make sure before we add or subtract that these are like terms. So here we have an a square b c cubed, a square b c cubed, they are indeed alike, like terms, because they have the same letter portions. And if I subtract the negative numbers, like adding, a positive number, so this can be written as a square b c cubed plus 6 a square b c cubed. And then when we add them together, there's one of these plus 6 of these, that gives us 7 a square b c cubed. And that's really how you want to interpret these terms. Over here, we have a 3xy plus a 4x square y. These are not alike, so therefore we cannot add them. So the, you cannot add terms that, when they're not alike. So simply that's as far as you can go. Same over here, we have a 6AB minus 3ABC. Since they're not like terms, even though it kind of looks like they're partially alike, but that doesn't matter, they need to be completely alike. You need to have an ABC here before you can subtract this from that. So again, there's nothing more we can do. We just leave it the way it is. Here, notice we have an AX and an AX. So therefore, they are like terms. We can go ahead and subtract this from that. But since it's negative, subtracting a negative number is the same as adding a positive number. So 14ax plus 6ax. We have 14 of them here, 6 of them there. Together, we have 20 times ax. And that's the final result there when we subtract one from the other. So that's what we do when they're asking us to combine like terms. We add and subtract them only if the letter portions are the same, if the terms are indeed alike. And that's how it's done.